Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy Steven. Today's video, you know, as you guys saw my other video before, pendulum graph pendulums. So, not many people play it anymore. It's not that good or so. That's what people think. But I found ways to utilize different cards in your extra deck and different cards in your main deck to utilize the pendulum graphs from Time Star to still put up three, four interruptions and still end in five cards in hand, four cards in hand. So, it's more so a plus build, more so a build that gives you lots of pluses in hand. Uh, lots of cards in hand. Uh, set up a board of, you know, pen graph if you draw it. Snow and grave at all times. And two rank fours. Okay. Uh, maybe a jackal to ensure you don't get OTK'd. And the next turn you OTK them through your extra deck and through having multiple cards in hand. And it just ensures that turn one you put up two XYZs and a jackal. And turn two you put up two XYZs and a jackal. So it just ensures you do that. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe, guys. We're almost at 13,000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe. I appreciate the support. I love all you guys. And shout out to Adam Theus for the Patreon request. This video is for you. And lastly, shout out my sponsor, Game Nation. Check us out in the description below. Use Pengod 5% off all your, all your Yu-Gi-Oh! singles. Let's get started in the video. So, three Wisdom Eye, three Harmonizing, one Opal, Poison, one Black Fang. Uh, that's all, all the magicians we play. Uh, we don't we don't even play Gazer anymore. There's a reason why. So, this build is way different than all the other builds I've showed you guys before. It's level four centric. In fact, the only cards we play that are not level four are just these four alone. That's it. That's it. In fact, we don't even play three Chronograph. We don't even play Cerberus. It's an outside the box idea that Chronograph is a little bit overrated. It, all it is is just another curtain raiser. But you already have so many turbo cards and we cut the build to 40 cards for the pendulum graphs to ensure we always draw the pendulum graph because uh, the deck's literally built around the pendulum graphs. We play seven draw cards. like So we literally play a 33 card deck uh, ensuring that we're always going to see one of our four or five pendulum graphs. It's built around that deck specific, uh, around that card specifically. So with that being said, we want to pend out level fours to ensure every turn we got two rank fours though because rank fours are most powerful obviously. So we cut everything else to ensure that, we, that always happens. But we still want to play one of each of these to be able to have it in hand. I'll show you guys a little combo at the very end. Where even when you have double rank fours, uh, you end up uh, five cards in hand with these two being two of them. And a snoring grave and pendulum graph. So even you want to save all the cards in hand to OTK next turn. But at a dire situation, you could su summon chronograph and jackal. And jackal will take the counters from abductor, leaving a monster negate that your opponent doesn't know about. It's a little sneaky way to give jackal mon uh, monster negates without thinking it has no monster gates because it'll activate all their spells. So it's a little sneaky combo, but I'll explain it more a little later. But for now, these are all the magicians we play. We don't play anymore. Uh, these need to play because level four in the utility, and Oaks the only non-level four monster or pendulum that a pendulum magician that is so good that regardless of his level, you have to play. And every turn you, you pen harmonizing, I'll show you guys the end boards later. It just ensures that every single turn, uh, pen graphs are live. And I'm gonna show you the main combo of the deck at the very end to ensure you always have cards in hand, like five cards in hand. And the deck literally plays twenty monsters, twenty spells. So uh, one more important, the most important card, the, or the best card in the deck is abductor. You literally play 20 spells in a 40 card deck. Actually, you play even more because these count as spells. So you should play uh, 24. So you actually play 24 spells in a 40 card deck and seven of them being draw cards. Like you always draw, redraw another spells. Abductor always resolves no matter what the situation is. Always resolves, just a turbo card. And as you see, usually I start my list with turbo cards, but the, this build is very magician centric. Yeah, we don't play many magicians, but just so you always send it with Electrum if you don't have it. It's really, really magician oriented, and uh, they're really what makes the deck running. Every single turn you, you harmonize, pen harmonizing, and typically I'm of the good magicians in your scales. Uh, three of Doctor, then we play uh, the uh, three Curtain Razor. These six, along with uh, one Foolish Triple Shrine, are your like in a 33 card deck. Uh, is your turbo cards uh, 10 in a 33 card deck is a good ratio but obviously you want as much as possible but we cut out a lot of them because we actually don't need it after you make one after you have one turbo card that's all you need uh, your normal summon is not important you just normal summon and you have your electrum uh, but these are the turbo cards uh, it's all you need I took out the Cerberus because like we said it's so level 4 centric that we don't want anything else going around that's not level 4 you want to ensure that going second uh, going first, everything's level 4. I'll show you why. The utility of the extra is insane for the rank 4s. And it's the pendulum graph build. You'll, if you saw my other videos, you'll, you'll saw that any hand you draw, is, it ends up 4 interruptions. Uh, and like, add 5 cards in hand. That's what's so beautiful about it. And the pendulum graph will pop next turn as well. So it's insane. 
Uh, next, uh, some one ups riding me, the one I showed earlier. Zero for the Dark Worms, obviously. Chronograph, one of Chronograph, one of Jackal. Again, this is outside the box thinking, like, you don't need triple Chronograph, you really don't. Uh, you just need it if you're gonna play Gazer, it was another triple card. And the Cerberuses, I don't like drawing them, uh, especially because you have so many draw cards, you draw too many. There's no reason for it whatsoever. The deck has enough turbo cards as it is. Uh, it's good in a, it, this is a, just a different build. Obviously, I want to show you guys different aspects of Pendulums, where this is more so magician centric to ensure you're always gonna have three interruptions and always ensure that uh, your main combo of the deck's gonna resolve, which I'll show you guys the main combo in a bit. Uh, you don't need more than that. And your drawing is actually dead because you just want level fours going around. You want to pen summon four, four level fours. And if you happen to have the Jackal, sure. But you want to pen summon four level fours. And your board's always pen graph, snow and grave, and two rank fours. And the next turn's also snow and grave, trap, two rank fours. So it ensures you have fours going around everywhere. Two dark ones instead of three. Uh, Worm in itself is not a great card. You just want it with foolish burial. A normal summoning with zero is nice, but you end up foolishing it anyways. Two is all you need. And one snow. So uh, the deck really uh, uses. It utilizes Time Star Magician a lot, and what people don't understand is Time Star Magician. Uh, whenever a Pendulum Monster you control gets destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you can protect it instead. Instead of Spellcaster, a Spellcaster, not a Dark Spellcaster, to Grave. So why on earth would you not want to play the best Spellcaster in the Grave uh, to send a Snow for free? And then the whole combo of the deck, which I'm going to show you guys later, you end up uh, Tornado Dragon and Time Star for free with the Pen Graph set. So you Tornado Dragon to pop on your scales, Time Star protecting it, setting a Fairy Tail Snow, getting yourself a free Fairy Tail Snow. And like I said, we play 20 spells, like literally the rest is all spells. You always end up just open two spells or even one spell, and you'll have enough for Snow first turn. Just opening two spells, because two spells, a one level four monster is three, you'll get another one, uh, Electrum four, you'll get one more through the combo, and then uh, whenever you activate Tornado Dragon, then you have enough for snow. So uh, just a free interruption to ensure you don't get OTK'd. And it allows, also making time start allows uh, the pen graph to uh, pop two. So you end up on, on one one pop from, so interruption for tornado, uh, two pops from the trap and one interruption from snow. So even though they're not in the gates and the gates that we're used to that I used to usually put up, uh, it's four interruptions during your opponent's turn while having five cards in hand. So it just ensures next time you're doing, oh, oops. It ensures next time you're doing the exact same thing. And next, the spells. The spell count's gigantic, so we're playing a 40 card deck uh, to ensure that this combo resolves at all times. And it's even a 33 card deck, because look at all these draw cards. And these cards even draw two cards, let alone one. So it's almost like a 27 card deck, because these cards draw two cards, let alone one. So in a 40 card deck with this one, draw power is insane. And we, another reason we took out Mythical Beast Cerberus is because Thunder Dragons uh, are actually a hard matchup with a bunch of uh, draw cards. I learned that the hard way. Jesse Cotton literally waxed me. Like, I got destroyed by Thunder Dragons. I kept drawing fucking search cards. Like, I, like, it's just bad, so don't play a lot of those search cards. They're literally dead in your hand. Uh, the only search cards we do play are these because it's necessary for the pen graph variant, which is three lines, three pen call. These are the only cards in the deck that search now. Uh, and this, the pen graph, but you end up just not searching it. But these six are obviously necessary. In a 40 card deck, you're always going to see these. So Alliance searches anything from pen call to these pen graphs. It's amazing how it works. It really is. Also, sorry, the four triple cards I already showed. And it's just amazing how it works. The, the Alliance is giving you the option to search any of these. And if you draw two of these eight, you draw in conjunction with each other, you end up getting pen graph and, like, and pen call, which is a deadly, deadly, deadly combo. Literally pop to it, get scales, get the harmonizing. Like this, a pen call is actually, even though it looks like it's just a, a, a equal, like you don't neg, let, let's say you discard anything. Let's say you discard a, a foolish break because it's already shrined or something. It looks like you just equal out in cards, right? But nah, because Oath Dragon gives you a plus and harmonizing gives you a plus. So pen call ends up giving you a plus two. And then pen call with this gives you a plus three. So it's like you, you gain three cards from this this combo. And that's how we're utilizing this combo in the deck. And with that little time start tornado combo I showed you guys, it ensures you always have four interruptions and lots of cards in hand. As you saw in another video, you end up all you summon from your hand is just one harmonizing and two monsters from your extra deck, the two level fours from your extra deck. You save everything else from your hand. So you don't pen summon five monsters from your hand. You only pen summon one monster from your hand, just one harmonizing. So you save the rest, you end up having three, four cards in hand. Time Star adds you another, you end up with four, five cards in hand. Anyways, onto the extra deck. So Electrum, Laphlacus, Nightmare Phoenix, Unicorn, Bowl Lord, this is World Sword. These are the links that we play. So we don't play the PK version of this. I just want to showcase you guys uh, the adding cards in hand, that's all. To be able to do the exact same thing on your first turn and your second turn. That's the point, that's the game plan. That's the game plan of this deck, the 40 card pen graph version. Uh, this is just to ensure, so going first, you're gonna go Electro, the rest of the deck's all rank 4, by the way, like Synchro 8, but, uh, just rank 4, level 4 plays. So first turn you go this and 2 rank 4s. Next turn you go this and 2 rank 4s. 
So it's really the exact same board every single time. The, and the rank four is depending on your, the deck you're facing. And in terms of utility, you got a Phoenix Unicorn and both Boil cards. This is the Boil Sword. So it's a good ratio. You don't need Metal Trunks. You don't play Vortex in here. You play all level fours. Now for the rank fours. The whole deck is just rank four interruption. So obviously, Time Star Tornado for the main combo going first. Uh, unless you uh, dwell it if you know you're, uh, you're facing a deck that destroys that. Because you always end up on Pengraft, Snow, uh, and Tornado. And Time Star ensuring that you get free pluses and free pops. Double pops. Uh, next, in terms of interruption, you got Dweller. You're going to notice these are each for the best decks in the meta right now. So Dweller, Karen Gorgon, Evil from Nightmare. Uh, going second, if you want more interruptions after you clear the board. And typically, you just have Poison and Scale and you clear boards and then XYZ, you get interruptions. In terms of the OTK, you're going to have trouble getting rid of your board. Eh? So after they try to get rid of your board, they're not going to put up many negates up. So you just clear them if you can't OTK, and then you put up these board in the gates. So after you they, they deal your first four interruptions, they deal with more interruptions than another Snow Dweller can Gorgon or, or Nightmare, depending whatever it is. And now in terms of the OTK, because you are going, uh, they're, they're going to somehow try and clear your board. They're going to be up with a very suboptimal board, then you OTK them. Through the bowl cards, this card obviously is so easy to OTK. And then Custel, because you face Thunder Dragons, and then Custel is a great way to get rid of the Titan Colossus, etc., etc. And lastly, people don't see coming ever are two nukes you literally got exitana and and uh, the synchro supreme king so uh, another way is literally just uh, go with snow or literally anything just make one of these first yeah or this with pen call or any or then use a pen summon and then you otk so it's very easy to do it and then the side deck just all hand traps so that's it for the main deck and extra deck side deck just uh triple reboot two twin twister and ten hand traps that's all it is and going second the hand traps uh one thing I might change is adding a Dragster, because uh, or even a Yazi Mirror going second, and adding a may, might add a Time Gazer in the future. To ensure going second, even drawing multiple multiples uh, hand traps is not dead because you just pen summon them and got yourself a free Yazi. But that's the deck, guys. It's honestly insane. Uh, in testing, it worked out fantastically. Uh, the only issue I found with it was going first. The boards obviously aren't the normal 16 gauge board, boards I put up, but that's the beauty of it. If you don't get OTK through the four interruptions, uh, there's still four interruptions. Not many decks can play through a Pengar pop two, and one of them sends, sends, so he plays around all Thunder Dragons, Snow, and a Tornado Dragon. So, if you're playing a monster deck, pop two, Snow book, Thunder Dragon pop like a field spell or something, or a continuous spell, and if you're playing a back row deck, Pengraft pop both back row, and um, Tornado pop another. So it's amazing regardless of what you play. Uh, well, it's not amazing, it's just good against what you play. And then next turn, you pay five and win. So that's that, guys. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe. I'm almost at 13,000. Shout out again, Adam Theus, for the Patreon request. Check out my Patreon. And lastly, shout out Game Nation, my sponsor. 5% off all Yu Gi Oh cards. Link in the description below. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.